All right, guys, good morning. So I'm shooting this video basically because I wanted to talk about something that I don't know if it's that a lot of people don't talk about. Um, I mean, it, it definitely is that, but just something that kind of bugs me. And, you know, I, ha I, I have my own detailing product line. I have multiple products. But my concern and the reason for this video is I hear lots of talk on the internet, even in person when I talk to other detailers or whatever. Everybody's so fixated on what do you top this with? What do you top that with? Can I put a layer of this on this? And will this, will this stick to this? And I mean, it's ridiculous, guys. Where I'm at with paint protection per se is pick a product use that product for what it was intended for and let it ride when you're done with that product so if a product is designed to last say a year and seven eight months into that you decide you want to put something else on do that and let that ride there's no need to have multiple protective products. What's the point of the initial layer if you're just going to stack something right on top of it? It doesn't make any sense to me. Um, I, I'm also not one that believes all that bullshit about, oh, well, this gives you this look and this gives you that look. Now, you know, there's it's probably incredibly marginal if anything changes the look over just some added initial gloss I don't feel like you know like they say waxes have this warm glow and if you're gonna win car shows you need to use a, a real paste wax with carnuba I'm just not into all that just like pick a product use it love it and do something else I know that detailing is a hobby for a lot of you guys. It's also, you know, I enjoy it. It's therapeutic, blah, 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 blah. But for me, it's like when I buy a product, if I get a product, I want to use it. I want to understand that product. I want to love that product. I want to know whether or not I dislike the product. So, you know, as far as a protective product, I personally don't layer things. I put one product on and let that ride and then if I want to put something else on I wait till it's you know pretty much gone and then I reapply something else so I, I don't know I just feel like it's a waste to be stacking things on top of other things you really don't know what the original thing is doing for you if you put something over top of it um, and Beyond that, the different technologies that are out there, who knows what's bonding to what or not for that matter. I mean, you very well could be putting something down and then putting something right on top of it that isn't bonding properly. Um, and you wouldn't really know what failed, whether it was the product on the bottom or the product on the top, if you've got multiple things on it. I don't know. I, I, I just feel like this industry complicates things to a point that I've never seen before. I mean, you got these keyboard cowboys behind the computer talking about all this stuff they have no clue about. They have no real world, world experience in it. And you guys know I'm all about that real world experience. That's the most important thing to me. Not what some lab test shows you, uh, but what I can find and pinpoint in the real world. Because things are far different in the real world than they are on paper, that's for sure. But anyway, as far as protective products goes, I know it's fun and interesting to a lot of you hobbyists to go out there and find a hundred different things to stack on each other because you guys need to be outside detailing cars and, and that kind of thing for your mental well-being. I mean, I get all that. That's fine. Um, but give whatever protective product you like an opportunity for you to love it. You cannot love something that you cannot pay attention to what it's doing for you. 
So for example, if I apply my new Ceram Acrylics Pro Hybrid coating for a customer or a client, whatever you want to call them, and they say, can I put a wax over this? Everybody asks me the same thing. They're like, is it okay to wax over this? The answer is, sure, no problem, but you're wasting your time, your effort, and your money. Doesn't make any damn sense. That's where I'm at. Um, I don't feel like you're going to get any better protection from putting something on top of another thing than you would just having that base layer, um, which is why I'm not a fan of trying to get people to stack things up or layer them. For years I've been preaching, don't bother, it's a waste of time. So this is me telling you, if you're stacking products, you're wasting your time, there's no point in doing it. Now again, I guess I can say this is my opinion, but it's not just my opinion, it's the truth. So do what you gotta do, but when it comes to you people out there who are trying to make money doing this, adding product on top of product, protective wise, is not doing anything but wasting your time, which is wasting money because you could be doing something else instead of stacking a product on top of another one. So I, the moral of this story is, pick a protective product that you like or that you want to see what it does, use it in its entirety for its own longevity, so as long as it lasts, use it, um, maybe make some notes on it, and then when that's done, move to the next thing. Do not stack your protective products in multiple layers with different products. It does not do you any good, period. You just end up with a nasty film on your car that's hard to remove. So, yeah, I guess you could strip it off. Yeah, you could polish. But I just feel like it's a waste of time. It's not worth it. And so, this is me saying, again, that's my opinion. And you know, opinions are like assholes. What do I know? I've only been doing this for 20 plus years. And uh, have... I would, I would consider my chemical makeup knowledge considerable. So, I would definitely say that I'm a source, a quality source for information that is not going to set you in the wrong direction. So, stop wasting your time, stop wasting your money, pick a protective product and use it, and uh, go from there. Don't layer. doesn't make any sense. Thanks guys for watching. Have a wonderful day.